Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing a little bit of a different take on uh, Mono Black, and that's Mono Black Domain. Um, I feel like one of the big issues with the current Mono Black deck is if uh, the opponent goes wide enough, um, you can't really deal with it. Your Invoke Despair doesn't do anything, your Spot Removal doesn't really do anything, um, and then they just kind of beat you down from there. Um, so to fix that, we kind of make use of Domain, where this is twofold. You can get Draw with the Cycle Lands, but also we use cards like Drag to the Bottom, as a sweeper, um, now that Meat Hook is gone, Mono Black kind of lacks a good sweeper unless you play white, um, which then of course is not Mono Black. Uh, we also use Shadow Prophecy, which is a cool domain card. Uh, it's an instant speed look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. Put two of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard, you lose two life. So this is a nice way to kind of sift through your deck and find what you need, especially when you have full domain activated. Um, you can get a really deep look into the deck, uh, and then find exactly the answer to, this, to the uh, the problem you're currently facing. Um, you can find Lethal with Corrupt going over the top uh, for big damage, usually unexpected, Invoke Despair uh, to do Invoke Despair things. Uh, we have one Junji as well. Um, you can actually finish the game out with the, uh, the second little mode on here, which is but target, or no, I'm sorry, the first one, which is each opponent discards two cards and loses two life, or you can get something back from your graveyard, usually a Shouldred, or the opponent's graveyard, um, and you lose two life. We also have two Liliana of the Veil, which has won us multiple games. Um, basically, keeping the opponent's hand at a minimum, we have cards like the Shadow Prophecy, the Bank Buster, and then our Cycle Lands to kind of refill our hand um, and keep us getting cards where the opponent is losing cards every turn uh, because we're hitting plus one. Um, and then we've done the minus six a couple times, and that is always nice. Uh, we have three Tenacious Underdogs. Again, for card draw, we don't mind discarding them to the Liliana. We also don't mind discarding them to the Shadow Prophecy, so... Um, that's good as well. For removal, we have one March of Wretched Sorrow to gain us life, two Cut Down, three Go for the Throat, one Infernal Grasp, um, and then, of course, Drag to the Bottom, Invoke Despair, and Corrupt. Um, yeah, that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you in the games. Opponent goes first. We'll keep this. Probably Underdog on two, Trespasser on three. Liliana on four, and then tap land as well. Okay. Could Liliana minus? This does add a mana. I don't really know what they do about Liliana here, so. Something suspicious is going on. I've always hated Alright, got another. Drop it. Drop off the lounge here. Yeah, I mean, have safekeeping, huh? Interesting. Let's get the uh, Trespasser down. Okay. There's a Prowler. Here's a drag. We can just take out everything, but this flips next turn. So do we wait? Let's Shadow Prophecy here. I think we go for land and removal. Play the land, hold the removal. Click plus, send away Bank Buster, card advantage with Invoke Despair next turn, or the turn after, after we drag. They lose. Okay. Could go for the throat on it, but they're nowhere close to casting it, though, so, or I mean Graveyard Trespasser. 
let's wait. Next turn we'll drag to the bottom. If they use all their mana, yeah they don't. That's fine. Alright. Everything gets dragged here. Toss away the cut down here. Don't overthink things. Deluge. Attack in. Here's the drag. Another invoke the ancients. Hit him with despair, probably minus two. Two, four, five, yeah, nowhere close. Alright. I have bigger sorry. Needs. I'm not interested. Sacrifices must be made. Damn, all four deluges. <laughs> Alright. Uh we can go shouldered here. And then we just hold up go for the throat. There's the counters. Ottawara played as a land, interesting. I think we've got him next turn. Nice. And we know they did not draw the answer because our deck tracker is saying we won already. Got him. Alright, we go first. Uh, removal for days. Drag and shouldered. So let's try this out. We can uh, remove their early stuff and then drag the mid game into the depths. On a red. Phoenix check. I think we just kill it. Alright. Tempting to play the untapped and shadow prophecy there, but I think keeping up drag here is probably better because we'll want to get rid of this board. Ah! Uh... Wait, what? Oh, because I'm auto-passing? Really? Other Kamano as well. Alright, well, I guess we're dragging this. Right? Probably. Yeah, we've got another one. To the bottom. Next turn, I think we'll play Shouldered. Mm. Maybe it's actually just another drag. Ooh, March is very good here. March is very good. Unfortunately, no land. So let's wait. I think we'll exile the Grasp and probably the Shadow Prophecy as well here. To get the Phoenix check back. Nice. Okay. So that's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. The rest of it gets dragged to the bottom next turn. Wait. Oops. Five, six, seven. One and two. Back to eight. Drag takes care of the rest of this. And then we play shouldered and hopefully they just can't get past it. One card in hand. Bloodthirsty adversary. All right, go to one. <laughs> oh wait, no, we don't. We go to three. This is my math. Dude, this thing is so annoying. All right, did they top the lightning strike they need? Forced to block. Ah, that's unfortunate. Ooh, the corrupt, though. Back to ten. Another one. Oh, invoke despair. What a top deck. <laughs> we got there. Going first. All right, we'll keep this. Buster on two here. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's get the tap land down. I think we'll Shadow Prophecy. Next turn we can Buster. Uh, because then we can draw with it. See if they want to counter. They do. Okay. Next turn, Invoke Despair. Go for the throat. Maybe we don't Invoke Despair here. Maybe it's just Trespasser. Okay. And then we keep up our draw and our Go for the Throat. I'm not gonna crew. Uh, because they could still have removal here. And I think we need the buster in this matchup. Alright, what you got? Nothing. Trespasser will flip. Make our domain a little bit better here. Attack in. They go for an emperor or something here, we can despair. Okay. Let's see what are we discarding? A land. Okay. Hmm. I think we continue to hold Despair. Our hand isn't that great if they counter it. The problem. Okay. 
sake of the future, there's the draw. Defend the past. There is much the past can teach us. The fairy unprotected here, so despair is good. Let's also cycle. Alright. Swing in for four. Despair. We always draw another despair off of despair. <laughs> okay. attacking. Ah, there's the Emperor, so here's the other despair. <laughs> now you've done it. That's we go for the minus. Alright. I am almost sad to see you go. We can hit for eight over the top. We'll cut down our underdog here. You started this fight, but I'm going to end it. Go for the throat, I mean. Still enough for despair. <laughs> Chapter 1. Nothing to see here. Got him. Nice. go first, and we mulligan that. Alright, we'll toss away Corrupt. Hello! Heathing Wormlet. Alrighty. Automaton. Hmm. I'm not very impatient here. <laughs> sure, dude. Sure, sure. So I think we'll Shadow Prophecy here. Split this, make it a better blocker. Stop their attacks. Yep. This guy's gonna rope us into oblivion for this. it is. What is this, like the fourth mono red in a row? Ooh. Do 
like that. So if they go, yeah, they go adversary here. So we're going to march it and toss the Shadow Prophecy. So then we have something to hit with our Trespasser next turn. Why can't all mono red games go like this? to discard. Alright, I think we're gonna cut that down. Yeah, so let's cut that down because our trespasser can't block it. Next turn we'll just go shouldered. More damage. But it doesn't stick around. And another Kamado. Alright. Well, here's Shouldred. No stick means this first card they drew is not uh, an instant. Okay. Let's see where they send that. We'll take six if they hit shouldered with it. It's fun. Back up. Okay. We can block with shouldered now. Same amount of damage, but removes two creatures. Invoke Despair sorts this whole problem out nicely. So they die next draw. That's the game. We go first, we'll keep this. Prophecy on three to get us into drag, most likely. May consider marching this. Uh, whoops, should have done it for three. That was stupid. We've got a Devastator. Okay, next. They devastate us. Let's set up for Invoke Despair next turn. Okay. 
Cleans up this nicely. Take three from the Devastator. Get rid of that enchantment. Next turn, we invoke again. Alright, they get in for their extra three. Scribe bottom, which is nice. Scry to the top is always scary from a uh, mono red. Alright, so they're bringing out the land to play. So let's get in with the Trespasser here, I think. Take the... Let's actually take the Play With Fire. And then we'll play the uh, Underdog as well. No more attacking in with the Foundry, please. Next turn we Despair, we look for another land. We can hit him for 6 over the top as well. I don't want them to look, so we'll just take the three here. See if they sack their land to save the Felden. They do. One less thing to worry about. Okay. Back to eight. Okay, more land. There's a bolt. So, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need to hit five. Hmm. Dead to two lightning strikes. I think we just send this now. Now they're dead to the trespasser next turn. They have to hit us for 13. Which seems relatively unlikely to happen with two cards. Alright. So they bring the Foundry out to block. Attack in. We'll take their impulses. And then we cut down the Foundry. Oh. Okay. Other land. There's a lightning strike. <clears throat> We're dead to another. They're bringing in the land, so it makes me think they don't have it. Found a three. Has to be a lightning strike. It's not. Let's go. One goes first. Uh, we have removal. We have buster. And then into invoke despair on the top. So let's try this. Probably soldiers. No? Blue white? Hmm. Resolve Bankbuster. Nice. Impulse. Ah, Resolute Reinforcements. No? Hmm. What do you have? I feel like this is a control deck if they're running... Yeah, Ottawa and Scoring City. 
Alright, let's get into the hand then. Liliana. Plus, this is my home, and, and I'm I making the call right now. Smart. We don't need to go for the throat, so we can ship that away. And there goes to Fairy. It's control. We're looking to minus six Liliana here now. We got the absence to deal. Knew this was a waste of time. We'll go tap land. Draw a card. They missed their land drop. Cool. Let's hit him with the Invoke Despair. Put the pressure on. There's the Make Disappear. Nothing again. We'll Shadow Prophecy on their turn. Because we do want this to resolve. We need to uh, reload our hand. Alright, we'll do it now. Liliana and Sh Ooh, Bank Buster though. Yeah, let's do that. Let's also cycle. Alright. They miss land again? Oh man. Go Bank Buster here. Looks like they have a counter, so let's hold. Maybe another march here. If so, we draw. Joint exploration. Alright. Looking for that land. Did they find it? They did. Land acquired. All right, let's draw. Liliana resolves. We go plus. Happy to help, but I'm taking the credit when we win. There's a deluge. <clears throat> Drag can go. We'll keep our spot removal uh, for Emperor tokens and Teferi tokens. And then this can also hit the Planeswalkers themselves. So, we hold. Need to keep refilling our hands so we can keep plussing. So, draw with the Bank Buster every turn. Alright. Me. We can hit for 8 over the top, but they're still at 25, so we need to chip them down a little bit here. Yeah, there's the Emperor. We can take care of all this now. My people. We must protect the people. Seven, six. So we can go one, two, three, four. Right? Yes. Leaves us enough to draw with. I'm never done for good. There's another despair. So we'll attack him with the buster here first. <clears throat> we'll play their emperor and exile it. No, maybe not. Two, four, six, not enough for 
their deluge. So we'll plus here and see what they do. All right, they scrutiny. Fine. So here's invoke despair. Don't overthink things. Reload our hand. We can now hit for nine over the top. We just want them to tap out with like a Teferi or something. Give them the business of the despair. Then let's just play Shouldered. Next turn we'll minus six and take half their land. And they are actually almost dead. Farewell. Okay. They tap out for it. Hmm. Two damage off. I think we plus here. Drop it. Next turn we minus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can deluge. Okay, they pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's a pain land. That's a pain land. Minus six here. Here's the deluge. So do we use Corrupt now? If we wait one turn, we have lethal. If we do it now, there's a chance they untap with a counter. Don't want to take that chance. Now we leave them with two pain lands, <clears throat> which is why I put the two pain lands in the four mana pile. Oh, they gain a huge amount of life. Not good. Okay. I'm tired of your secrets. Keep the damage on them. If we find our other corrupt, we win.
Okay. They tap her farewell. Let's cycle. <laughs> Prophecy. Alright. Get rid of Meyer. We all have things we'd rather forget. I think they scrutiny her. Or deluge. Yep. I think we'll take these two. We threaten the underdog blitz now. So we'll plus first. You won't be outsmarting me. What's the underdog? Tax. Probably draw an emperor here. Yep. There's the exile. Not much of a roadblock. There's the dissipate. And what we really wanted to resolve, the bank buster. Draw. Other underdog? Nice. So now we can plus one and then blitz the underdog immediately, which is what we were planning on doing anyway. Breaker horror. Too bad we threw away all of our removal, eh? <laughs> Alright. Go plus. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. No point in attacking. Another land. Oh wait, we have no more corrupts. Uh oh. This isn't how things were supposed uh -oh. to go. One cards left. Super bad. What do we even have left in the deck? Down to six. We know they have no instant, so now is the time to kill the hole breaker. Spare. Alright. Seven cards left. Yep. They use their counter here to bounce. No. All right, let's make them have it. Come 
Ah, there's the make disappear. Send the hole breaker back. All right. Draw a card. Two, four, six, seven. They have enough to replay this turn as well. Other land. Five cards left. I genuinely have no idea what else is left in this deck. gonna say we discard two and then blitz underdog close game going first uh we'll keep this go underdog and then uh go from there Ooh. i think we actually go tap land here so that we can shadow prophecy on three or liliana just opens up our three drop plays. Citizen's Crowbar. Nido. Uh, when it enters, create a 1 1 attached to it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Alright. So I guess we kill that. This is my home, and I don't. Sacrifices must be. Next turn, we can go Trespasser plus one, discard the underdog. Another one. Drop it. Let's see what they get uh, discard here. It's a land. I think we protect Liliana. So to do that, uh, I think we'll just pass, and then we'll go for the throat on the token. Alright, double crowbar action. Lantern of the Lost. Exile my underdog. Alright. Interesting. Plus one, discard the grasp. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. the turn there. Probably gonna Shadow Prophecy, hopefully. Unless they do anything, unless they do something super scary. Doesn't look like it. There's our land, and Invoke Despair seems good. Okay. Go plus. You won't be outsmarting me. I think we'll toss our trespasser actually, because we can refill with invoke despair next turn, kind of, but also get rid of their wedding announcement. We also leave open go for the throat, in case they have a brutal cathar. Or And I think we'll minus two on the wedding announcement token uh, to get more draw out of despair. 
Okay. Exile all graveyards, draw a card. Sure. Another lantern. Do we need to kill that? There's a cut down. Hmm. Minus or plus? I think we plus. Throw away the cut down. Drop it. Alright, we can cycle this next turn. Let's draw here first, see what we get. Looking for a buster. Just the land, plus. And this does what? Uh, when it enters, do that. Equip. Okay. We'll discard the land then. Next turn, we plus again. Another reliquary. Drop it. Little shadow prophecy here. Land and despair. I will keep this for draw. Okay. Is there are good cards to have. Play the tap land. Well, didn't want to keep playing that game. That's fair. Welcome back to the uh, post-game deck overview. That was Mono Black Domain. Um, and as you can see, the on-the-draw win rate, pretty bad. <laughs> on the play, much better, uh, for an overall combined win rate of 62%, 13 and 8. Uh, mono Red was a big issue. And um, yeah, other than that, though, deck felt pretty good. Uh, we play it more like a, like a control deck, um, kind of hearkening back to the days of Blood on the Snow Mono Black, um, which was my favorite, personally, Mono Black list to run. Uh, and, yeah, so going over the deck really quickly, or the, uh, the iterations, rather. We played most of our games here with the first version, right? We went 6 and 5, 55% win rate, 80% uh, on the play, 33 on the draw. Still pretty bad on the draw here. Uh, we made some changes, added in a Trespasser and a Henrika, and cut down the Shadow Prophecy and the drag to the bottom to 3 each. Um, I felt like I was drawing these cards and I needed more answers than, you know, Shadow Prophecy because at, when you're, when I was drawing my Shadow Prophecy, basically, I was at a point where two life would basically be the end of the game for me. Um, and then drag to the bottom sometimes just wasn't the solution. So I needed more things to actually put on the battlefield and contest. Um, so that's why I made those changes. Uh, in version three... Uh, which I think is the final version. Yeah, we just went 3-0 with it. Um, we actually took out Henrika because I felt like 1 dies to cut down, 2, 4 mana, 3, very slow, um, and you're usually only using her to draw cards or flip, um, and I feel like she just usually dies. So took out Henrika, took out 1 Invoke Despair, 
uh, because we found ourselves, again, in a lot of situations where Despair just didn't do the job. Edited one Junji as more of a sticky body, a nuisance, and something the opponent has to take care of uh, that can then get us value when it dies because it doesn't do anything when it enters, but they have to kill it. So uh, we added in a Junji, and then we also, we also added in one more Liliana um, because Liliana, frankly, is just extremely annoying if the opponent can't deal with her. So... Um, I think this version performed a lot better um, with these adjustments. Uh, we don't really need four Invoke to spare. We have three and then two Corrupt to kind of close out the game, um, and then everything else in between to get us there. So, yeah, that was the deck. Um, I had a pretty good time with it. I like the inclusion of Shadow Prophecy and Drag to the bottom because, like I said in the beginning, uh, lack of sweepers for Mono Black is, I think, a pretty big issue. Um, well, if you're trying to play more of a controlly mono black, if you're trying to play like the aggressive sleeper on one into, you know, shadow misery on two into, you know, your trespasser on three and then shouldered on four and despair on five and win, uh, then that's a different, a whole different thing. This is more of a controlly type of list. Um, and I think having the ability to drag to the bottom um, for minus six, minus six, potentially on turn four, is uh, very good. And I think it benefits the deck a lot. Si a lot. Similarly, I like Shadow Prophecy too, um, for the ability to kind of search through your deck and find the cards that you need. Um, yeah, so that was the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you uh, with a more interesting deck in the next one.